what if we could clone you? What would you be able to do? And right now, I actually have like total earnings for the month. As we actually got in $8,400. Learn to speak to people. Number two, you don't need to know code because my guys don't know code. Reader David started his agency around 60 days ago. Now in those 60 days, he's taken his agency from $0 to today, where he's now making $8,400 every single month. This is Reader's first ever online business. And I was fortunate enough to be able to sit down with him and ask him the questions that I know are gonna be valuable for you guys. Now I'm gonna start bringing you more of these case studies of people that are making something work inside of the AI automation agency space, because it gives you a really good insight in terms of what strategies are working, how they learned them, and how you can go and then implement them into your agency too. So without further ado, let's jump into this case study, get your notepads out and get ready to start taking notes because Reader is about to share all of these secrets to success with you guys. Okay, let's go. Reader, thank you so much for taking the time to, to have a chat with me today. You've been killing it inside of the Discord and I just wanted to uh, get you on this call just to have a chat with you, find out what's working and hopefully share some insights that you've learned over the last few months. Thank you, thank you so much. Firstly, it'd be really good to hear how you're feeling about the current successes that you're having. I wonder if you can go into a little bit more detail about the successes you've had, the sort of clients you're working with and how long you've been doing this. Okay, so I've been doing this for about four months. Just stumbled across Liam's YouTube channel and I've seen stuff that he was doing on, on AI. And I've always had like a little curiosity bug on, on it. And it's just started from there. So four months ago, I started. I thought, okay, Liam's got a little course going on called The Network. And so, you know what, let's just join this. And this is how the journey started. And then the jewels just dropped. I promise you guys. There is absolute diamonds in that course that you will find. You just need to look and see and you'll find them. So what happened with me is I started the thing four months ago. Started a little website. Thought, okay, you know, let's start an agency. Let's give it a try. Let's do some cold outreach. And then it was you, Liam, that also said, hey, um, why don't you try and speak to um, this or that person? Like if you get to someone and just have a conversation. And my very first client was a doctor. And I went to the doctor. I got a shot. I asked, okay, how's things going? Um, how's your clients coming in? Do you have any problems with, with, with getting more? more patience in and she just said yeah like sometimes it's slow she wish she had more success with that is there any way that i know of of and then we just thought you know what I, i've started this ai agency and i could do some sort of lead generation i could make a at the time we called it a chatbot we don't use that word anymore no. and it started with building a little digital assistant that would answering the, the simple frequently asked questions and some actual doctor stuff that she, she asked me to put in there because they ask about these things. But it always leads to, please come in and see the doctor if you want any further further questions answered. And that was the first one. And right now, I actually have like total earnings for the month. As we actually got in $8,400. We went up from last time. We actually keep growing quite fast. Yes, and it's getting we our total month expenditure is about a thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. So our actual profit, our net profit, is six eight fifty dollars per month right now, as of today. That is insane. And you've been running your agency for a few months. For me, it was almost unheard of to land your first few clients in the first few months. Like you'd expect to wait at least six, but this is why I love the AI agency model so much. It's like the opportunities that are out there. As soon as you start to talk about AI, as soon as you start to show the sort of solutions that exist, it's just a game changer, right? Have you found that in like the conversations you've been having? So a lot of the conversations, people are very curious about AI, especially here in South Africa. They have sort of an idea and then when they think of AI the most advanced thing they think of is ChatGPT but then there's some things that we, that we tell them well have you ever tried or have you ever tried learning about using ChatGPT as just like an engine and then adding APIs on top of it and making it something so much more so utilizing ChatGPT as a brain and this is where we get with voice flow where voice flow can plug into ChatGPT use that as the brain you create your flow and there you go, you actually have a talking agent that can actually understand quite a bit. And if right now it can Google for you as well. Exactly. Uh, it's so good. Every single week inside the Discord, I'm always like, how many how many new clients has Rid got? And James is like, oh, he's got another one. He's got another two. And I asked you the other day and you was like, yeah, we're up to almost 6K MRR. And I was like, holy crap, this guy is on fire. So yeah, hats off to you, mate. What do you think has actually helped you 
outside of even just the program that we have, what's helped you push things forward? Has there been like a mindset shift that you've had to go through in order to manage these sort of clients? Because like going from zero to eight clients is is pretty big, right? That's a, that's a lot of management. Yeah, it's actually now 10 clients. So we've got an extra few free clients, but they are coming in. But we will start off with those free clients. It's like some people, we, we tell them, listen, if you don't like the product or you feel a bit skeptical, why don't we just build an agent to do one job for you for free for a month and you can just try it out. There's no payment involved, nothing like that. If you liked it, awesome. If you don't like it, we can just shut it down and it will win at no cost to you. And that's, that's how that all always works out. So landing with clients is actually so much more easier as long as you know how to talk to that client. Such a good shout. Like uh, every single client that we've seen the most amount of success with inside of our agency, we've always led with a relationship first. It's not like how much money can we make out of this person? It's actually how much can we educate this person on AI? How much can we lead them through the process? And then how much opportunity can we actually pull out of that one client after they've seen what's available and what we can do, right? Yeah. So in terms of the mind shift, yeah, I chatted to you once and then you told me, um, like, try try looking at it in this sort of direction. Try landing AI as in, think of it as a business. You need to You need to actually run this business as a proper business. So think of a business plan and so forth. And then again, you always, then the Alex Amosi stuff came up and that was a mind shift. And then there was another thing. So I thought, you know what? These guys are not talking out of the air, you know, they, but they, they, they're getting this stuff. They have actual proof of what's happening. And then another mind shift that I've gone through now is just, you know what? All of my guys, they are just on David Goggins. They just, you know what? It's just shut up get the work done, get it now done, push forward, next one. Amazing, man. Um, when it comes to your offer and what you're actually working with these clients on, is it kind of a range of different services? Have you kind of niched down into a specific pain point that you're looking to solve? So when I do meet a client, I'll ask them, um, do you usually struggle with leads generation and leads validation? So and that's also quite a big seller. So this is usually where they'll, we'll start the conversation with and then they'll either bite on it or not. But at the same time, when they start biting on it, we always ask that question, what if we could clone you? What would you be able to do? And then the mundane tasks come up and then we'll say, but you know what? We can actually build something that can do that task for you all the time. Even if it's reading out, reading an Excel sheet and making notes for you in this sort of format and putting it there ready for you. If it's ready for your meeting the next day, you can just read down and there you go. And that's already such big game changers, especially in the insurance industry, where they actually where they have clients coming in and the clients have so much questions they actually have now. We're busy working with one insurance um, company. The, the bot is designed, or the, the assistant is designed to literally, this is what, what's been going through your entire lifespan with us. Um, this is the... Um, this is what you spend, this is what you must payments, or this is what you your access will be, this is how good of a client you would be, this is the percentage discounts we're going to give you now, now that, you, now that they're working more with the bots. So the more they work with the assistants, the less human beings are involved and they get, the better, they get better results in the end of the day, which is ROI. Yeah, exactly. Do you have like development background? Like, are you was you into development before this? So I have 15 years of development, um, like the development skills. So I've been a C++, C Sharp, Node, Python, and Java developer for quite some time. Do you think that's really helped you? Like, or have you found that inside of this agency, it's been a lot more sales and marketing over the actual development itself? Like what, what sort of balance do you think you've, you've struck there? So my biggest problem was, was sales. I did not know how to do anything in terms of sales and how to market at all whatsoever. But with the people, with my two guys that's working for me, they, they can have no skill in, with development. And Ben has a great, great course on how to do the no code stuff. So that helped them so much. So I could just give, um, Ivan, I would say, Ivan, okay, we've got this client, pull this invoice flow, and then I'll tell Hayden, Hayden, you do this in Zapier, I will start doing the APIs, and then that's how we work together, and boom, we churn something out. We'll tell the client two weeks, but every client we've been doing work for, it's three to four days, and they have an MVP. Wow, that's insane. 
So you're so you're ticking all the boxes. You are the golden man. Good stuff. What what's what's been like the biggest? Obviously, working with ten clients, you must have gone through a large number of conversations or sales calls where you weren't getting the results, or maybe people were saying no to you initially. What does that look like? What were your biggest setbacks? Did you ever get people that you know were completely against your offer like how did you handle that in the beginning i spoke to a lot of people and they were so negative about it and it dropped my it lowered my confidence because i thought okay how is this actually going to work if this is how 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 you're getting your clientele talking to you in this sort of way and then it gives you in sort of that negative light and vibe but then this is where brayon came onto the scene on one video and things just flicked the switch and i was like Oh, so that's how you answer them. And then we just like I, I hound Brian. He knows like I'll ask him, okay, what is how how would I how would I answer this sort of question? How would I keep my tone? How would I change my posture? How would and then it's all about just get knowledge about the client and ask them one simple question. Are you ready for AI? Are you ready for your business to scale at a massive rate? And then that's when they always start thinking. It's like Either they're not ready when they actually aren't ready, and I mean, if you actually build something of the scale, you might rip their business to pieces because it's just too much leads for them to actually handle and service. Whereas other clients, they're like, okay, and there's a little something, they get a little taste of it, then they try the free, free little plan that I'll say, you know what, let me do, let my assistants do just one job for you for free for a month, and they completely turn it over. Exactly. I think that's what you've, you've really nailed. And the fact that you've managed to get in front of so many people and got so many clients in a span of a month is just proof that whatever you're doing is, is working really, really well. What has been your like go to method to get in touch and get on a call with these new prospects? Have you been doing outreach? I know you've been reaching into your, your warm network and just speaking to people in general. But what does that look like compared across the, the 10 new clients you have? What was what was that process? So my 10 new clients, eight of my, my clients is warm outreach. It's literally going into my Facebook contacts, going to my WhatsApp contacts, going into any sort of contacts that I have, putting them on a list, going through them like what Alex was in, go through that list, then start hitting them. I didn't even hit 10% of my list yet. <laughs> so I <laughs> had massive, massive potential still there. And two of my clients was literally not from cold outreach, but from referrals actually so yeah so other other clients when actually when they see the job oh this is actually working fine and then they, they have conversations with other friends and then oh well here we go let's hear somebody all i say is like you know what um hi this is me let's meet for coffee let's just have a conversation let's get to know each other a little bit and that's how it always starts that's the way man that's the way yeah like i feel like a lot of people that are new to the agency game they see on YouTube that they've got to go and make 10K per month, right? And they, they think that this is this thing they have to rush into and they've got to go and land 10 clients tomorrow. But the reality is, even though you've done that, basically, you've done that over a month's time frame, the reality is you need to take your time. You need to open up your network. You need to learn as you go. You need to make mistakes. You need to have big wins and then hire a team around you so that you can facilitate that. Because I mean, like you've gone from zero to 10 in what, just under 60 days. So for you, you obviously had a background with the development side of things. So that was a big confidence booster for you. But in terms of managing a team, was that something that you'd already done before? Because obviously you would, you needed to get onto that pretty quick because 10 clients all at once is a, is a nightmare or can be. Yes, uh, can be a nightmare. And what I've learned for, from the 50 years of development, I've always worked in the team and I've led quite a few teams as well, being like the team leader or the the lead the lead um develop on on a project and so that's sort of helped me put in in place like we'll use a kanban board or a or you know or like a trailer board we would put, we'll put like right now we're using Trello, so we use the trailer board we put the tasks on we'll set up listen this is business x this is what business needs this is the tasks link for it you pull your card you do your card once it's done we test it goes through a little process and bam so that's how we, we've, we've managed to develop like a little churn, like our own little factory between three guys of how we can churn out exactly the next thing or the next the next product for the client as fast as possible with at least decent testing to say, okay, this is working. If, especially for the free for the free clients, we'll get them, okay, this thing is churning out quick. There's a, near something within a day and a half, even though we promised them maybe a week. 
and and then they, they get this little thing that they play with it um and from there onwards it's just another conversation brews from that to another conversation and then it becomes monetization yeah exactly you're productizing you're systemizing that's what you got to do from day one you're, you're definitely doing everything right i love to see it what what are the goals over the next three to six months do you have any solid that you set in stone already or is it kind of just seeing where the wind takes you through your whatsapp uh, contact list I don't have a strategy yet for moving forward to be honest i'm still it's still so fresh and so new right now we just know about once we have a winning strategy, we template it, and then we see if we can reuse that template, um, uh, yeah, for the next client based on whatever they are, whatever their requirements is. But this is where James and Ben, I hound them is like, okay, Melon, I have a problem. I need to get this sorted. What, what, what how would I go? What, what can I be looking forward to in the next six months? Like I always ask James. I need, this is a problem, dude. Let's get on a call quickly. And we on a call for, we say five minutes or in half an hour, it ends up to be like two hours or just before one of, one of our strategy sessions. And yeah, but I get a lot of information and help from these guys. And if where, where I'm going, looking forward to the next six months, I should have a strategy within the next week or two going for the next six months. Yeah, exactly. And you know, like what's working for you now is is great it's working you don't need to change the game and i think what's important is the fact that you have built a system around these clients that you already have so moving forward and then opening yourself up to outreach you now have the budget for that you can push out into new software you can hire a new team to manage sales calls you're, you're building not only like knowledge and a structure inside your business but you're also increasing your cash flow which means you can scale faster and actually do less work because you can hire in more people, right? So it's always, there's bonuses to to land in your first clients, no matter how you get them, just get them so that you can then start to, to actually run some outreach campaigns and uh, hiring team members to replace what you don't want to be doing. Mm, exactly. I mean, I've got one client that I'm doing that, that I have a digital assistant for, it's a pool building company. And part of the part of the signage thing was they building me a pool. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, nice! <laughs> so you, you managed to sign them as clients. Yeah. <laughs> and they're doing work for you, so you're basically going to get a pool for free, hopefully. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice, mate. I love it. You're a hustler. What's um? What is one one piece of advice that you would give uh, any new beginner who is just getting started out? Maybe they are early 20s they've never run an agency they've never even started an online business before but they're seeing everyone talk about ai automation agencies and they're thinking hang on is this something that i can do they don't have any development background they've never got on a sales school before what would be your advice and i know that's a massive question but i'd love to hear what you think mm. so for one confidence learn to speak to people number two you don't need to know code because my guys don't know code and they are using ChatGPT and and cold code helpers to actually build them. I mean, they're starting to build APIs themselves, but they don't know code. Yeah. Number three, just learn your product. Don't give up. Learn your product, get to know it very well, stay in the industry, know what's going on in the industry and yeah, just keep up with the, with the knowledge what's happening and then Number four, I would say, if you give up, then you fail. So don't give up. It may start slow. It may start rough. You may lose a little bit of money, but go into it saying, you know what? Let me try and make a success of this, but just keep on pushing because you need to, you need to, you will find something. You'll find that W mm -hmm. and just bold your knowledge on, on all of its capabilities of your product. So don't just stick. I know that when they say, once you have, um, don't improve on the wheel. But if you look at today's day and age, the wheel is not a wooden wheel anymore. It's alloy rims or got some tires on, there's rubber on, there's now grip technology. Yeah. There's always ways you of making things You can adapt the wheel, better. right? Yeah. yeah. Be adaptable. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, 100%. Ah, that makes sense. How important is it for you to replicate successful strategies and adapt them into your agency? You know, when you see people that have figured something out already, how obvious is it to you to say, okay, that's a strategy that I'm going to start using from tomorrow? Or is it, do you kind of have a different approach to it? No. So when, when, oh, when I see a, a, strat, a winning strategy, I'll actually go and test it and test the waters. If it's something good and it works, templatize it. Even if it's, it doesn't have to be a template on, let's say, voice flow or 
or any sort of tool like that, you can write this, you can templatize it as in what are the steps to to using this winning strategy and write it down on a piece of paper, put it on a wall, say this is strategy X, this is for this, and then just use it. It's, it's just make, make something reusable and it really does become something easy to win. And you'll see that your your productivity becomes so much quicker because, oh, I have this this little this little function here that I can just reuse and there you go, it just saves you maybe a day or two. Yeah, 100%. Completely agree with you there. I think it's a case of, you know, almost leaving all preconceptions at the door. Understanding, especially if you're a beginner, that this is a completely new space for you. You just have to listen to what people are saying. There are some people online that obviously are saying things when they actually don't know what's working and uh, they've never actually tested it themselves. So you've got to be very particular with who you listen to. But if you find someone you can trust, if you start getting good information, you're seeing people get results from those people, then open up your ear, take your notes, you know, like you're, you're one of those guys, you're always there, you're on masterclasses, you're listening, and you may already know the information that's being told, but you're always there just to try to catch something new if it is said, right? And I respect you for that massively. So, yeah. Oh, um, I've, I've found, like I said, I found diamonds, like absolute diamonds. You might not, like unless you've, I don't know, unless you've failed enough, I guess, to actually see, okay, this has actually been spoken of in this masterclass, but once you actually get it and it clicks in your head and you use it, I promise you, you will see success. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, sometimes on, on the, the live calls that we have, it's like some of the information that's dropped, I'm like, damn, that is valuable. I look back, I'm like, I, I have never heard anyone speak about that. And that's exactly what's working for us in real time, right? So I think that's super important, yeah. Um, now, this is a completely open question to you and you can refuse to answer it. But is what was what was it all like before your agency? Because obviously, like you're in, a, you're in a pretty big house, you're getting a pool built. So I'd imagine you was in a pretty good spot anyway. What was the reason for you wanting to go and build an agency, basically, is what I'm saying. Was it to start your own thing or was you like, okay, I want to start making more money? What was it? So uh, it was a simple thing of, you know what, I just got sick of working for a boss or working for a team leader that is just for the productivity and your monetary value is so low. So even though I was in development for 15 years and then you see these kids that's 16 year olds and 18 year olds driving Lambos and Ferraris and you think to yourself, so I studied all this time just to have some mega success. And then I thought to myself as a kid, as a kid, my dad and my mom always bought me Ferraris or Porsches or like fancy little toys. And you always think to yourself, oh, I'm going to be an astronaut. I'm going to drive this. So you know what? I told myself, stuff this. I want to drive one of these. I'm going to make a success of my life. I need to do something. And I love that. Here we go. We've got to start up something. There you go. And now you're on, now you're on track to make uh, 10K a month. <laughs> Is that more than you was making in your previous job? You, you, again, you don't have to answer. We can remove it. So honestly, yes. So my previous job, I was making about $3,000 a, a month. And that wasn't really much. And yeah, that was after tax. After tax, the deductible was about $3,000. And that's really not much also, especially in South Africa. You you can you can live comfortably, but then at the same time, do you want to live comfortably or do you want to become something great? Do you, do, you, do you want to do something right? And I mean, I thought of kids on the street or something like once a year, my dad and I and my brothers, we, we take some money and we buy some, some clothes and stuff for a charity in like it's quite close to my dad's place. And we'll just drop some toys off and you'll see like, hey, you know what, why can't we do this more often? I mean, if I have so much more disposable income, you can actually really help the world out there. I'm with you. I mean, like I went to Philippines once and um, seeing like the age of the kids that were homeless on the street. And there's lots of places in the world where, where that's similar. I'm sure there is in South Africa as well. It just broke my heart, right? And to build a school or build an orphanage actually doesn't cost that much. You're looking at, I know it sounds crazy, but... 30 to fifty thousand dollars and you can get something built where these kids are now safe and off the street and it's like that's where i want to be i want to constantly work towards that where i can then go out and do that for people right because at the end of the day you can make as much money as you want but money shouldn't change you or your core beliefs as a human being um and you know if you can then do if you planned on doing good before you started making money 
then I'm sure that you're going to do good when you do start making money, unless you're a complete psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, no. no. So, yeah. Brilliant. All right. Well, look, I've got two final questions for you, mate. So we'll, we'll whip through it. But um, how has mentorship and guidance uh, played a role in your success? Do you think it was a, a key integral part to you being able to sign these clients? So without the mentorship, I would not have had Ben's sort of angles of how I could have uh, attacked strategies when it came to clients. So that was sort of like building the engine behind what's going on. Without James Mellon's help, I wouldn't have had a strategy on how to approach some clients. Without Brayon's help, I wouldn't have had a way of taking rejection and turning it into a win. Without yourself, Liam's help in the beginning, I wouldn't even have thought of an agent, an AI agency, let alone getting where I am right now, tripling my salary, actually. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so it's, it's absolute... W is just a big W. Yeah, for sure. So everyone's doing their, their part inside of the network and they're all helping you in different ways. That's good to hear. I'm glad, it's, uh, glad it's working. Even George. Yeah. You know, everyone. Perfect. Perfect. So what would you say to someone who is hesitant and skeptical about joining something like the network? Do you have any final closing words that you could say to them to uh, to help you know open their eyes to this sort of opportunity? There's, there's two ways in my life. It's the one. I say Sakura Padaka. Don't fail. You will get the win. Just keep on pushing. And the next thing is I would say is, you know what? Take a breath. Go through the course. Take some notes. Um, find out where your flaws are. Use the use the knowledge in the course to sort of plug those holes. And then work on then you then you already have a winning strategy. Then just implement it. So yeah. And then for the guys. You do extra push-ups as well. Get angry and get to work. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw I saw that message. I was going through a Telegram chat and uh, I mentioned I was in the gym. You was like, yeah, I'm going to go do 100 push-ups. Is that something you do every day? Yeah. 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 So right now, after I'm done with my sister, it's cycle, cycle five kilometers, 50 push-ups and I, uh, 800 meter sprint. Damn, so, that's, that's impressive. Yeah, no, I need... It's like 10 p.m., right? <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, okay. I need to do it. You got a busy night ahead of you then. Managing 10 clients, hope, well, soon will be 10K per month for MRR and you're doing all of that every single day. Mate, oh, hats off to you. Honestly, Rid, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure working with you over the last few months and I'm looking forward to seeing you go to that 20K mark, 30K mark and uh, yeah, we can 10X your old salary. That's the plan, right? And then when we do, I hope to get an invite to come around your swimming pool that you're getting built. Oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> you guys, like, if you come to South Africa, and hopefully we can have, like, a meetup in South Africa. Yes. Try and bring everybody in, and let's do, like, a little thing here. Please, let's, let's get something. It's going to happen, man. Back. It's going to happen. Huge thanks to yourself, Liam, for at least putting that, I would say, that inception little thought. Let's try this out. Yeah. It all started me. Oh, brilliant. I'm so glad it's helped you, and uh, I really appreciate you jumping on this and taking your time out of your day. Thank thanks, you so man. much.